Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Motioner. Today we're gonna be talking about how to wreck a car in Blender easily. So first of all we've got the car model in here, this is an SUV that I found on Sketchfab and if you want it, you can just go ahead and search for it. It's a full pack that I've got this SUV from. I will try to put the link in the description. So first of all what I did, this will be a basic video so I'm not gonna rig the car, that's why you can see the whole car is an object, it's just like one object. I merged all the parts of the car, it comes in separate parts, but I did merge it in one part right here as you can see the wheels, the glasses and everything uh, is intact and uh, just like one full mesh so I can have full control over because the method that we're gonna be using will actually need everything to be uh, in one object. You can separate uh, some stuff such as the windows, the, uh, the wheels or whatever you want, but uh, this is my uh, 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 preferred setup to go with, uh, just for this case. So yeah, what do we do first is we go ahead, create a cube and just make it roughly the shape of the car. So we go in the top view. So then what we do is we have some loop cuts or you can have just subdivide it a couple of times like two is good because we're going to be adding subdivision surface later. So now what do we do? we go ahead and just add subdivision surface uh, modifier just put it to two then what i do is i go ahead to uh, shrink wrap modifier and just choose my suv body as the uh, shrink as the target of the shrink wrap modifier so then you can see it's a bit uh, rough and stuff you can just play with the offset a little bit so the car is submerged in the uh, in this uh, domain right here we can even add another uh, layer of subdivision then we can go ahead and just um, uh, scale this up a bit then what do we do is just we go ahead and start applying the modifiers start from the top always start from the top we go control a and then control a and we have our mesh ready we can just go ahead alt s to scale it a bit sorry I have proportional editing on alt s to scale it just a bit so we have it over the edges or over the uh the car. Uh, we can use the remesh tool to uh, fix it and have a good uh, topology but it's not a problem in this case uh, but this, uh, the next step is the most important and most crucial is what we do. We select the car and we go ahead and choose mesh deform then I advise you to save at this point because it might crash your computer especially if you have a dense uh, domain or object and I'm, I'm just calling it domain if you have a dense object it's going to be taking a bit of time but let's go ahead and try it we go ahead and choose our cube or our domain don't forget to name it and label your layers I just don't but uh, don't do like me I actually suck at this but it is very crucial when you have a crowded uh, project then you choose your cube as the target or the object and then you save again I just like to save and then click bind this will take a bit of time and I will be back once it's done and we're back once you see the button bind turn into unbind so that means the mesh is bound to the car and now we can control its deformation don't worry when it's if it gets too uh, too long to actually uh, bind it's not go it's not that that much of a problem so you just gotta wait for it so now what do we do is you can just go ahead and start playing with this what I like to do is make this a wireframe so I don't see it and then you if you go ahead just pick a couple of of vertices and just go proportional editing you see it can actually already deform um, the uh, the car so you can deform it on any shape actually a good practice is to actually have uh, uh, shape keys to this uh, deformer I would call it the deformer We'll just go ahead to the shape keys, go to the basics, just create another one. This is the value of zero. Let's go to the sculpt mode. 
strike here and just uh, go to the value of one and start playing around with it maybe you could just go ahead start playing around with this you can you can see it's actually destroying the car as you can see let me go back to the and then we can get out of of this and let's just see let's get out of edit mode let's just see so you can use it in, uh, instead of actually using soft bodies and stuff you have a controlled uh, rec that you can use whenever you want it, it is manual it is way better actually uh, well not way better but I prefer this method than using soft bodies and stuff uh, so yeah just go ahead and use your uh, your shape keys you can add a new shape key and do whatever crazy stuff you want you can use uh, custom brushes on this cops uh, mode so as you so you can use any uh, any deformation that you want if you want to go ahead again just go to the sculpting mode again and uh, keep adding stuff keep adding wrecks keep adding uh, anything you want like it will all be inside of the it will all be affecting the stuff so you just use the values for your own liking and that's all you can even hide the uh the mesh and i believe that's it with this video guys thank you for watching and see you next time peace